Oh. Well, my faithful moonbeams, as I've said in a previous video, the only Annie worth watching is this one by uh, director John Houston, starring Aileen Quinn and Albert Finney. I believe this is Bingo. This, this is Sandy. This thing here. This. That's Sandy. Not the thing on the other on the 2014 version of Annie. The one in the 2011 version of Annie was or the. The one in the 1999 version of Annie, it was more of a Sandy than the 2014 version of Annie. This is Sandy. This thing. This is a Sandy. This is what Sandy should look like. Shaggy. And... Big. <laughs> At least... At least waist tight to Annie, but that thing that uh, she was with, what was that? Is she being you? No, 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 no. Wrong breed. Wrong breed of it. No, no, no. And, and what was up with him being like, oh, Oh, this is great, Annie. I'm eating this like a dog. Here, you're starting to eat it. No, no, no. Bad, 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 bad movie. No, Jamie Foxx. Sorry, you are not uh, Oliver Warbucks. I mean, yeah, what would they call him? Sax? Something. Um, yeah. No. I mean,. They actually had a girl in that movie dressed up. She was a, actually a redhead. White fate. She was a Caucasian. Redhead girl dressed like Aileen Quinn was dressed in the, at the beginning of this movie. She actually played Annie on the stage. She would have been a better version of Annie than... I can't even pronounce the girl's name. It starts with a Q, but I can't pronounce her name. And I don't even want to pronounce that name because, you know, it's too unpronounceable. Sorry. I don't even know her first name, so, yeah. I don't even know the name of the girl in the 1999 version. I forget her name. She, she's she's a forgettable girl. I, for, I forget the... Those, those two versions of Annie are rated N for not worth my time. Both 1999 and 2014 are not worth my time. This is the only one that is rated M for Moonbeam 87 approved. This one here is M for Moonbeam 87 approved. If you want to watch any, watch this version. Not any other version of any. Because this version actually has the Greta Garbo uh, and Robert Taylor, um, cameo, technically, even though they're dead. I mean, they're playing, I mean, their scenes are in a movie called Camille, and it, because Annie and Warbucks go to the movies, he buys out the 8 o'clock show, and they all go to the movies, and the only ones that go to the movies are Warbucks, Annie, 
Grace, Punjab, and Sandy. And they leave everyone else behind. Oh, and they ask. They ask goes along too. Because they had to have the chauffeur. But everyone else, they all stay at the mansion. Let's all go to the movies. Uh, yeah. Where's everyone else, Warbucks? You left everyone else at home. About the 8 o'clock show, and... Just, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, they go to the um, Radio City Music Hall, I believe it was. Oh, that was funny. Uh, that, that's actually worth... It's actually worth watching just for the camp value alone. And to watch... Uh, to watch... Uh, Tim Curry as Rister crowing. He, he does it so well that... That's awesome. Uh, Rooster... Has to crow. Jim Cummings did not crow. Which is why I do not watch. Which is why that. Which is why the Kathy Bates version of Annie is not worth my time. And either is the Jamie Foxx version of Annie. I did watch the 1999 version because it was on TV. But I didn't watch it all the way through. I mean, I was like, it was like, I was like, this is a bad movie, and I was like, this version here, because the 1999 version was so bad, I had to go to the videos, I had to run the video update, rent this version just to get the 1999 version out of my mind. I had to actually rent this version just so I can get rid, get rid of the bad taste that the 1999 version left in my mouth. Because this version was like because I was like, okay, that version was bad. I need to, I need, I need to go get the other version. I need to get the original version. <laughs> I need the original version. No other version compares to the, no, 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 no. And putting hip hop on top of it, no. It's like, if you're good, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, Tim Curry as Rister, I mean, and Carol Burnett as Hannigan, I mean, yes, Cameron Diaz did bring back the drunk version of Hannigan, I'll give her that, but she was no Miss Hannigan, I'm sorry, she does not hold the cam Cameron Diaz. Does not hold a candle to Car Car Burnett. No. I mean, Cameron Diaz is, um, she's Princess Fiona. Princess Fiona's sweet and nice, and no. Cameron Diaz does not make a Miss Hannigan. She just. She played it too mean, like, uh, Kathy Bates did. It was, like, horrible. No. No. Now, Carol Burnett, she pulls off Hannigan. She knows how to be a Hannigan.
and Grace Farrell was supposed to be a brunette, not a blonde. It's supposed to be white, not black. Because the 1999 version got rid of Punjab. That's the, the 2014 version, I think. I mean, if you're going to have Annie, you have to have Punjab. Punjab's awesome. Punjab. Only version worth watching. And it takes place in the 30s, not the new millennium. M, Moonbeam 87, all other versions, N, not worth my time.